good morning i am back with another video um today's video is going to be a little different i'm usually always like going to a doctor's appointment or something like that but today i'm actually going to be um returning back to work so i wanted to kind of like vlog today and um <laughs> see how today's go see how today goes it's been um six months since i've been um at work um i've been out of work since my first surgery for endo um, in december of 2020 so that was december 18th 2020 um today is now in june 30th so um i'm about to get ready and um i will see you guys when i'm done getting dressed okay so i just got done getting dressed I'm sweating, I'm so hot. I swear these hot flashes are killing me. Like they kill me even more so when I'm just trying to get dressed. Like, cause I don't have time to just like sit down and like cool down. So hopefully I'll cool down on my drive to I'm work. To be petitioning to return back to work part-time working um, Tuesday through Thursday. So I can have Monday and Friday for um, basically already scheduled doctor appointments. So I'm basically gonna have to try to like prove my case or something but hopefully everything goes smoothly because I cannot return back to work at full capacity I literally just had my second surgery at the beginning of May and I'm still healing um, and I even just got the stent removed um, on Monday so um, my body's still healing my ureter's still healing I'm still healing physically and emotionally so um, definitely cannot be at work full time right now, especially um, working as an EKG technician and working so closely with patients. I need to have my, um, you know, like my attention like on them and not thinking about like what's going on with myself because I wouldn't want to be at a doctor's office and someone is in their thoughts what's going on with them and they're not taking care of me. So sweat all over my face. This is so gross. Like I'm like actually, I take that back. It's not, it, it feels gross, it but- It shows you like how like important your ovaries are. Like I only have one ovary and look how my body is reacting. I'm sweating. I can't sleep sometimes. Um, let's get out of here and go to work. Guys, I'm finally here. I finally was able to cool off a little bit. Um, I'm about to grab my stuff and go inside. I'm so anxious. Like, I feel like <laughs> throwing up and crying at the same time. I don't know. I just, I don't know. Like, I just know people are going to be like, like asking me questions. And like, I just don't feel like, um, I'm really not trying to cry right now, but I'm really like, I just like, I feel like I will open up to people about like what happened as time goes on. I just don't want to be like bombarded today with people asking me like, you know, like where, where, where have I been? Like, why was I gone for so long? Like, do you feel better? Like all these questions like that when essentially like, I don't feel better. Like, I'm just here because I have to be like for financial reasons like I probably like shouldn't even be working right now but I have to do what I have to do so um I don't know it's just really emotional for me like just returning back here um so we will see how the rest of oops we'll see how um the rest of today goes so i have been back at work now for about an hour or so i just came to the canteen to get some water because i'm so thirsty um so far i've just been trying to um, get access i don't have an email anymore none of my passwords anything like that will work so I'll probably be spending most of the day doing absolutely nothing. We've been spending most of the week or these tomorrow just trying to um, get my access and stuff. It says that it'll probably take like up to 10 days for my um, 
email. So we'll see how long it actually really takes. Hey guys, so I am taking a break right now. Um, I'm absolutely bored because I can't do anything like not being able to um, get into the, to the computer and have access. I can't even get into my email. I can't do anything. So I'll just be sitting, I guess, for these next couple of days until I get my access. It also doesn't help like returning back to work like also a not a good like positive work environment so but um i'm back i'm here i actually wish i could work with some patients today so like the time can go by faster and i could feel like i'm doing something um but other than that things have been okay so far no one has like bombarded me with questions and asking me like why I was gone or how long or what happened so that makes me feel a lot better um, I will update you guys later on if anything else happens but so far it's pretty boring just figured I would show you guys um, where I work treadmill so, crash cart. My lunch break right now. Work has been completely freaking boring. Um, this is probably gonna be the most boring vlog. If anything exciting happens, I'll definitely be sure to add it to this video. But pretty much so far, it's just been just sitting back doing nothing day. I should have brought like something to read. Maybe I'll bring something to read tomorrow. I do work tomorrow and then I'm off Friday for my appointment, so. Okay guys, so I'm home from work. Um, today was pretty boring. I'm thinking about making this like a two day vlog because absolutely nothing happened today. I just pretty much sat around all day and tried to um, get my access. Tomorrow I think I'm gonna bring something to read. Um, like I said, I think I'm gonna make this a two day vlog because nothing um, really happened today. We did not have a conversation about me going part time. Um, I did talk to my supervisor and she just kind of let me know like um, what's changed um, in the clinic and pretty much just asking me like, what do I feel comfortable doing and what I wanna start out doing. And we both agreed the first thing I really need to get is my access because I can't even do anything. Like I can't even like, do phone work because I can't get into the computer so um I am going to relax eat something and I will see you guys tomorrow morning hey guys it is um day two today is like Thursday um like I said I made it a two-day vlog because absolutely nothing happened yesterday so hopefully something happens today if not then this is just gonna be really boring vlog so i'm sorry but i seriously appreciate um everyone who takes the time to um watch my vlogs because it really means a lot to me um just to like hear feedback from people just to like hear what they have to say or like say if they're going through something similar like just let me know that i'm not alone or just you know like it just it really like it means a lot. I don't even know how I would have gotten through any of this if I would have never opened up about what I was going through and like my story with Indo um, on my Instagram. Like, I feel like I, I don't even know if honestly, like, I don't even know if I would be here if I hadn't done that because um, just everything that I've been through over the course of just like seven, like going on almost like eight months, like it's like it's just been really um, trying on me emotionally. Of course, like I'm freaking getting hot. Um, it's been like really trying on me, just like emotionally and physically. And um, you know, I feel like um, I've just been like weathering this storm, and I'm just kind of like wondering when is the sunshine gonna come out for me? But I know that um, I just have to keep going and I have to keep um, fighting. Um, and, you know, in order to help myself and really just future generations, because like, 
something needs to be done about this. I will not stop talking about endo. Like, I will talk about endo until I'm blue in the face. If you don't want to talk or hear about endo, like, you can unfollow me or not be my friend or something because this is something I'm extremely passionate about. Um, I actually had someone ask me, um, like, well, how are you doing, like, outside of endometriosis? And I'm just like, honestly, endometriosis affects every aspect of my life. It affects my work, my family, relationships, my mental health. It's a part of everything. Like, like this morning I was getting dressed and I'm like drenching in sweat and I just I told myself I was like if I was with my friends like in Vegas or something and I was getting ready to go to a day party how would I get dressed if I'm if my face is drenched in sweat and I'll and I'll be seeing all my other friends get dressed like that's triggering they're not going through that they can get dressed fine but I can't like something that little so um, it affects my life the whole way around. Um, I know that endometriosis is not who I am as a person, but it definitely is a part of my personality. Um, I, I honestly, I, I, it really is. I don't know why I am crying right now. Um, I'm just going to try to go in here and have a good day. Um, a good positive day. Um, also i hope i get my access or something like that um if not i brought some magazines to read to like kill time or whatever um and hopefully we get the situation with me working part-time like squash today if not no later than next week we'll check in with you guys um later on throughout the day hey guys so i am just checking back in i still don't have access to anything but i did go to hr again today and um she's trying to like she put in my ticket number to see like who is going to be the one like um working on getting my access back she also told me that my part-time status was approved um which makes me feel relieved but i'm still a little bit like on the fence about it because I still haven't had the discussion yet like with my department and um, reasonable accommodations but um, I'm really hoping that it is approved because it's definitely something that's stressing me out. Not much has happened so I'm sorry that this vlog uh, is so boring but um, this is basically just getting back into the swing of things and um, showing up work so I'm on my lunch um, it's like 2 38 um, my supervisor told me that we are going to have the whole discussion thing um, about the part-time thing Tuesday at 2 30 um, uh, nothing else has happened today like I said I've just been pretty much sitting around I guess so. I can sum up my two days and say that I do feel, um, you know, tired. Uh, I was definitely tired yesterday when I got off. I'm tired right now. I was like debating if I want to like take a nap or not. Um, you know, I'm still experiencing pain. I actually have more pain today than yesterday. Like I woke up just like with stabbing pains in my uterus. So. It, that's how my morning started out so I did like bring a hot water bottle with me to like use like while I'm like sitting in my car like on my break or something but it's so hot outside that that's just like out there like not even an option so so that pretty much ends my vlog I'm sorry that it was boring I'm sorry I didn't do anything um, exciting but um it's nice to be back at work um and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know um, if there's anything in particular that you guys want to see me vlog about or something like that. If you want to like give me some ideas of something that you want to see from me, um, let me know. But other than that, um, I appreciate you guys so much and thanks for watching.